Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paul Butler and I'm Todd Carley. This is WBOC News at seven o'clock. Ask any veteran. They'll tell you one of the worst things you can do in the military is lie about your rank in the service. And that prompted Delaware State Representative Rich Collins to sponsor what's called the Stolen Valor Law to stiffen penalties for those that embellish their military record. There have been a number of high profile cases lately of people lying about their military rank in order to get benefits like Jason Scaletta in Maryland benefits they hadn't earned. There was an Air Force major sent to uh, Iraq, lived in a tent, air conditioned, was not out of the tent, and he got a bronze star. No way can you find that he even had sand in his boots. George Larry spent over 40 years in active and reserve duty, and nothing angers him more than seeing people lie to get benefits they don't deserve. My opinion, jaywalking, comparable to jaywalking, defined in relationship to what I think is totally, totally incorrect. Larry believes Delaware's amended stolen valor law featuring stiffer penalties for those lying about their military record is good, but the minimum $1,000 fine is just a slap on the wrist. I had many veterans tell me they think it should be a felony offense, but I just felt that it could not pass. Um, that doesn't mean that we cannot stiffen the penalty if the support is there in the future. Representative Richard Collins out of Millsboro sponsored the bill. There have been some high profile stories of politicians who have uh, earned elective office by telling untruths about their military service. So uh, I just thought it was a good thing to try and clean that up and provide a little bit more honor and dignity for our veterans. Larry says veterans need to be protected for what they sacrifice for this country. If you obtain something illegally, uh, a benefit as a so-called veteran, it's got to be harsher than a thousand dollars. Got to be. Now, the Delaware, New Delaware state law has, says that minimum penalty of one thousand dollars cannot, cannot be reduced by a judge. 